Hi guys and welcome back in a new video. It's a new unboxing because I received this new printer. You can see it's a really big box. It's called Sigma and it's from the BCN 3D uh, company. Uh, it looks really amazing and is dual extruder. So I will not stay here to speak too much and we can start to unboxing and see how what is inside this box. So this is the protective foam we can find on top of the box and we have different stuff already here. Uh, how you can see is two spools of filaments, one black and one white of uh, half kilograms. Uh, and uh, this printer works with uh, 3 mm filaments or 2.85. Um, and here we have a box, I suppose with the tools inside, so we can check it. Inside the box we can find a paper, declaration of conformity, uh, the cable for the alimentation, a lot of tools, I'm really impressed, I mean, including the printer, all these tools, the spool holder, a cable to connect the uh, printer with the PC, uh, we have a spray, this you apply on the build plate, so the PLA or ABS or whatever material you use, it will stick better. We have Teflon tube and a SD card with a couple of stickers of the machine. And then in the bottom of the box, we have the build plate. And I love, I love uh, glass build plate because for me uh, it works better and here I expect some manual yeah exactly uh, guide rapid guide uh, or quick start guide and uh, it will help you to set up all the printer uh, without do any error and explain I think about the slicer because I think they use a custom yeah a custom version of uh, Kura and here how we can see is the printer is the last things inside the box so I will remove it and uh, so we can check it in detail so uh, one of the first things you need to do when you remove the printer from the box is remove uh, this cable tie the this red one just cut it and remove it like from the center too after you re remove the cable tie you remove the foam from here from the back of the motor and the foam here on the back of the build plate you just screw here on the back so the build plate go up a bit and you can remove the foam after you remove all the foam inside the machine uh, we can put the build plate the glass build plate and it's like magnetic so it will stick together and it will not move after you find the right position, you see, it will not move and it's really, it's really cool a way to put uh, the build plate uh, in this way so you can easily remove it. I hope it will not easily remove during the printer, that will be a mess, but I don't expect this. Then we take this spool holder, it's uh, 3D printed, the spool holder, so it's pretty cool, so if you broke it you can reprint it. And we take the spool and we insert the spool holder and we just put on the side of the printer and how we just did for the white filament we do the same for the black filaments and uh, how you can see uh, the printer can uh, 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 keep the two filaments inside the printer and not like on the back or like in other position like uh, for the other printer I have already have. Then we take the Teflon tube and we pass through this hole on the corner, on the top corner, in the both sides. I'm doing in the right side and you need to do the same on the left side. And we put uh, the Teflon tube down here where we have this hole. So it will be able to pass through here the filaments and go to the extruder. 
and then we do the same with the Teflon tube and we put here in the extruder we push down so we are sure it's locked in the extruder and uh, so now the extruder is it can uh, able to receive the filaments and we repeat the same action for the other extruder after you put the Teflon tube it's time to put this little clip that is really easy just put on the cable here and put on the Teflon tube and it will keep this cable uh, in the same position of the Teflon tube so it will not be around in the printer last things but not less important is uh, put this uh, cleaning rubber inside this little cart so all time uh, the extruder will move to change color it will clean the nozzle I just applied the cable at the power supply so we can turn on the machine with the button here on the left of the machine and with all this color <laughs> Uh, it will turn on and uh, the fan will start to to turn it's a bit noisy but not too much uh, like the wasp is a lot more it creates more noise than this machine at least for now I, I don't know if it will increase the noise uh, when it will start to print but it's really really bright machine really cool uh, so we probably just start and do a uh, test print I will show you step by step on the screen uh, the other step like loading the filaments and then we will uh, print something so this is the touch screen of the machine and it's really really cool it reacts really well uh, I can go around and click and as you can see it's really fast and here on the left we can insert the SD card they provide so now we go to load the filaments on the machine uh, utility utilities filaments we need to choose if we want insert remove uh, the, the filaments we say insert and we need to choose if it's the left of the right extruder we will do the left and then I will do the right and he ask uh, what uh, material we are uh, loading and we are loading PLA and following the step uh, it will appear on the screen we go and insert the filaments here and just push it up until it will stop okay now it stopped so we press go and uh, it will uh, move the extruder and uh, insert the filaments and extrude the filaments and now the printer is creating a lot of noise but is pushing the filaments until the extruder so it will come out probably soon here so I you can see the filaments is coming down from the extruder and so is is ready to be used I, ju I will just uh, insert the other filaments, the black one in the right extruder and we will be ready to do a, our first print if you want to calibrate the machine it's really easy just go on the screen, utilities, calibrate and uh, if it's the first time you are um, uh, using the machine do a full calibration it's really particular, uh, I never saw something like that I will not show all the steps to do it because it's quite long but it's really well done and is easy to use and just following the instruction on the screen the machine have done this line during the, the calibration I already removed someone uh, but it's just to test it and uh, uh, see if all works properly So I spent uh, probably one week, one week and a half after you saw the rest of the video to print stuff and test the machine to be able to understand how it works, if it works well, to give you a right feedback of the machine. And I forgot to tell you the build plate is uh, 210 millimeter the X, the Y is uh, 297. Uh, millimeter and the Z is uh, 210 millimeter so it's quite quite big build plate I uh, would say 
and uh, it's really really impressive machine uh, I mean I print these things uh, I print flexible material I print uh, this robot from uh, the Lava Ultimaker with another robot inside with uh, using the um, uh, support uh, they will uh, disappear with uh, using uh, putting the object in the water uh, and you will see probably a video soon about it uh, I print other stuff, multicolor, a frog and I mean the quality is really impressive everything works really well uh, I will still testing with different material because I want to see if I have some kind of limitation but I would say I would really suggest if you want print with multicolor like this kind of object uh, multi-material uh, I would really suggest this printer uh, and they see the community a lot of people from the community are um, speaking really well about it because it's true because it's a really nice machine uh, the only things I will change probably is more software than hardware I mean the only really really problem I have hardware is the SD card sometimes it doesn't pop out or doesn't pop in uh, when I press inside the SD card, but I think this is maybe my machine. I will probably speak with the, the Sigma, the BCN 3D to understand better about it. But uh, maybe it's just software. I will probably change some stuff uh, in the software of the machine. I saw one time it, it crashed and uh, I need to reset the machine, but I don't see any really big. Uh, problem. If you are in UK and you want to buy one of these machines, I really recommend Awok 3D. I will leave the link below in the description. Our store I know really well. The guy they work there and the owner are really cool. So uh, I will uh, suggest you to buy there the printer if you want one. Uh, the price is uh, around 2,200 euro. So then depends on the converse, uh, how they convert the price in different country. Uh, but for this review is everything, if you have any questions just leave me below, I will be happy to reply to everyone and uh, I will start soon a new series of videos, like smaller video, not just props, huge props I will still do with that, I have a couple of really big projects that are coming I hope soon, I am working on it uh, but for the rest, uh, see you in the next video, bye guys Thank you.